Hey folks, I thought I would put together a video showing you how you can use the Teams meeting link in Brightspace. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my course and that's where I'm going to find the Teams widget. All I have to do is click the sign in button to begin using it. If it does ask me, I'm going to use my school email address and password. Now to create a meeting, all I need to do is click the create meeting link. Now the problem with this app is that this meeting doesn't get stored in your calendar or anywhere in your Office 365. If you don't capture that link that it's going to provide for you at the end of this process, then you're not going to be able to get to the meeting and either are your kids. This utility also does not send out any notifications to either yourself or your students. Anyway, let me show you how you can use this. I'm going to create a meeting. Um, getting started with MEL period one. I'm going to set a date for it. I'll set this for tomorrow. And the time. I want my students to get in here at nine o'clock. And the meeting is going to end at the end of the day at three o'clock. And now all I have to do is click the create button at the top of the window. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. This information is great and if this information was stored in the widget that would be fantastic but it doesn't get stored there. Once you refresh this page that link is gone. So you have to click copy the meeting link. If you don't do that that meeting is going to be gone. You can go ahead and set your meeting options if you'd like. I like to make sure that it's only people in my organization. I leave everything else here except for the presenter. It looks like everybody can present but I'm going to say only me so that the students aren't messing around in there. I'm going to click Save and I'm done. Now if I go to a new tab and that's going to be my meeting link right there and it is kind of messy but let me show you how you can use it. So there's a few ways that you can post this link on your home page for your Brightspace course. I just wanted to show you that I refreshed my page and you'll see that that meeting that I just created there is absolutely no record of it. So this is one of the reasons why I struggle with uh, creating team meetings this way. But I do still have the link, so let's take a look at that. I've added an activity feed to my course. It's not something I normally use, but this is one place where you can actually post that link to the Teams meeting. So to post that link, all you have to do is click in the Create a Post text box and paste. Now, in the activity feed, you get this neat little icon down at the bottom, and I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post this right now. And the one thing I don't like is all of this extra text here. So I'm going to click on this ellipsis over here and I'm going to edit the post. And I'm going to take this message right here and I'm just going to simply type in here, see you in our meeting and get rid of that because the students can click on this attachment down here and get to the team meeting. And I'm going to save my changes and now things look a little bit nicer. So that's one place where you could actually post that link for your students to get to the team meeting. One of the things I've done is I've created a custom widget and posted it on my course homepage. So now the students know to come to this widget every day and simply click on the link and then they can go to the meeting. I'm also going to be recording some of the meetings and posting a list of all the videos right below it right here in this widget. And the last place where you could post it is in your announcements feed. Now I've renamed my announcements to what should you be working on today, but this is the news or the announcement feed. You can click the little drop down and new announcement. You might want to call this team meeting. Now all you have to do is paste the link. Now again, this is a mess here, so I wouldn't really want my students to see that. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to cut that out of there and I'm going to type in some text. I'm going to say uh, see you at 9 a.m. for our team meeting. All right so now I have some text that makes some sense to my students. I'm going to highlight that text right here and then I'm going to click on the quick links icon and I'm going to scroll down to URL and I'm going to paste that URL right in there. One of the things I'm going to make sure is that I've selected new window so that this team meeting opens up in a new window and the students aren't navigating away from the course. I click on insert and then I'm all set and now all I have to do is publish this and on the home page the students will see a link to our meeting. So that's three different ways that you can post the links to your team meetings on your course home page. Another way you can let your students know about a team's meeting is simply send them an email. So I've created a new email message. I'm going to send this off to all of my students. All right, so the message might look something like this. You can do whatever you want here. Um, again, I'm not going to paste the link in here. If I did paste the link, let me just show you. It's, it's just going to be confusing for the students. I know they can just click on it and they'd be all set and to go. But if they're actually receiving um, unformatted messages, then they would have to copy that big long strand. So what I would do here is I would highlight Teams meeting and I'm going to go into insert across the top here and link 
and then make sure that I have existing file or web page and down here in the address I can paste the Teams link there and I'm all set and ready to go. And then I can fire this off to my students once I've entered in all of their email addresses. All right, so that's how you can use the MS Teams widget in your Brightspace courses to create and notify your students about upcoming meetings. There is a better way, I think. I do like the idea of creating a team for the class, and then that way we can create meetings right in that team. And because the meetings are created in the team, everybody who's a member of that team will get notifications of the upcoming messages, chats, and meetings. We'll take a look at that in our next video.